doing the live just to also test running live. This really is my first. Um, so I don't really expect an audience on this, but I'm sure at some point on playback, um, maybe uh, some people in the Impala community will see this and maybe find it interesting to, uh, to watch. Uh, trying to build up my channel a little bit, my content. Uh, maybe get a couple subscribers or followers. Yeah, so my Impala has a, eh, I've had it for about seven years now, has about 100 and, 115,000 plus miles on it. My odometer is real shifty. I can only see it, you know, late at night and like pitch dark. Eventually I'll get that fixed. But uh, I was the second owner when I bought it at the time and it had 67,000 miles on it. It was in immaculate condition. I was the second owner of it. Um, they took really good care of it. It was garage kept. I don't think it was ever really kept outside. Um, there was no evidence that they ever drove it in any bad weather. No, um, no bug remnants in the grill. Um, no real wear and tear, to be honest with you. Uh, they were smokers back in the 90s, I guess. But they drove the car very, very, um, you know, not as much. <laughs> I would say randomly, they didn't drive it very much. They just cruise in it every once in a while, hence the 67,000 miles. And it's from an older couple who uh, had retired and uh, liquidated all their uh, assets. Uh, I guess they're getting up there in age and I got lucky and found this car. Um, it was low on transmission fluid and AC uh, and refrigerant. I, I filled both of those up, topped off the radiator, drove it back from Kansas City, Missouri to Dallas, Texas. Um, and it's been a gym the whole time. Um, I had to get it painted a couple years ago, uh, about three or four years ago, because some jack off decided to uh, try to dash across the street and, and and pulled right out in front of me, and there was nothing I could do about it. So I stopped on the brake and and stopped and didn't do any major damage because I did stop enough to not total my car. But he had a brand new Ford Fusion or something like that, maybe uh, 2018, 2019, and uh, tore the ass off the back of that car. Guy was an Uber driver um, coming out of a McDonald's parking lot. But yeah, um, and all that there, that excess up there, I'm going to trim that to fit the floor a little bit better, as well as like along this line here. I'm going to draw it back just a little bit. But I'm gonna make sure all my um, um oh excuse me make sure that all of my um trim and everything fits just fine. Old system in the trunk. Get that closed. Looks good, but still, still got some to go. Well, I mean, for all that's it for now. I'm literally getting tired. It's about 1.45, 2 a.m. Uh, just wanted to come out here and tackle some just so I can get up in the morning and, and kind of get her finished and start getting my interior and everything put back in. So, um, yeah, check back in with you guys later. And uh, when I, I'll go live again, when I get better lighting and I'll put my phone on a stand or something to help me uh keep a better angle because I hate watching people's YouTube videos and and all you do is see them walk around with their phone and it's terrible angles and everything so I'll try not to do that I'm a professional photographer by trade so uh that's definitely a pet peeve of mine but I wasn't intending on going live but I did so see you guys later hope y'all enjoy like and subscribe